Hello Pisces, this is Renee and welcome back to my channel. This reading will be who is Pisces next big romance. We're going to take a look at your energy, Pisces. We're also going to take a look at your person's energy. And then we're going to go into some characteristics. We're going to look at um, the person who will be your next big romance. We're going to look into where this connection is going. And then we're going to get some advice, Pisces. Okay, so let's get into this. What is Pisces energy about love? What is Pisces energy about love? About this connection? <clears throat> Perform a random act of kindness. So Pisces, I'm feeling like this is someone you are being kind to double mission light worker star seed serve the world by being you so yeah Pisces what I'm getting is that this is a person that for some odd reason I feel like you need to forgive this person who's coming into your life and I know you may not understand this but I feel like right away I feel like this is a person who needs your forgiveness for something that they're doing or something that they did um, let's take a look at the person's energy so we can get more information about this well right away okay this person meditation brings answers so they may be a kind of person who does meditation who feels grounded um, who's looking for answers and this is also a person who's very open for romance so if where you're feeling like you need to forgive this person for some reason this person is very open to romance um, this person is very open to receiving love from you and I feel like you're not very open Pisces you're not into this love mission right away I feel like this person I feel like this person is really gonna grow on you though um, for some reason let's get some let's get some love answers what do we have for Pisces Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. And twin flames. Your passion ignites. So whether you know it or not, Pisces, this may be a twin flame situation. I'm, I'm not sure if you're accepting it as that right away but this may be your twin flame for your person emotions are natural and necessary part of life but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision in order to see things clearly you must let go of resentment We have 
romance cupid's arrow strikes and we have a message for you i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light i love you so i feel like this person is falling for you a little bit quicker than you're falling for them and we have playfulness laughter is the best therapy have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer definitely so i feel like this person this person that is coming into your life pisces is very playful they have a good sense of humor they like to play they like to pull little pranks on you and just make you smile um that can be the reason why this person you need to forgive this person i feel like this person likes to clown around they like to play and sometimes I feel like when you're in a serious mood, Pisces, you may get really distraught by someone being playful when you, you're not in the mood for that. So I feel like this person sometimes tries your patience, Pisces. They try your patience with their humor. But actually, humor is very good therapy when it comes to love because Without humor, without laughter, I mean, love just grows boring, don't you think? Okay, Spirit, tell me more about this person that's coming into Pisces life. Tell me about this person. What is this person like who's coming into Pisces life? What is this person like? The Justice. Okay, so yeah, this person is very grounded. They're very balanced. feel like they work very hard to get things done we have the three of swords so yeah this person has had a recent heartbreak they may have had a recent breakup or you know something has left them heartbroken I feel like this person is healing we have the knight of pentacles But I do feel like this person is very reliable. They're very patient. And like I said, I feel like this person works very hard. This is someone who's loyal. Someone who also may have a good paying job. And the death card. So yeah, they definitely went through a lot of changes. Um, are still going through changes. And I feel like that may be due to this Three of Swords. For some reason, I feel like this person may have also been in the, the court system. They may have also had some, some rounds with the law for some reason. I feel like this person may be, maybe they went to jail or something like that. But I, I feel like the law was involved for some reason and it could be due to this heartbreak it could be that this person had to get restraining orders on the, the last person they were with they had to do something that deals with the law tell me more about this person spirit tell me more about this person coming into Pisces life we have the Knight of Swords. Yes, yeah, so I really feel like this person is trying very hard to change their life. This may be also someone who's very witty, very humorous. Um, they're very intellectual though. I feel like this person is very smart. They're not very outgoing. They're more introvert. But I feel like this person is very smart. They may be very book smart. And we have the Three of Pentacles. This is someone who has a lot of skill. I feel like they mastered a skill. 
They may work with their hands. The chariots. For some reason, I feel like this person, he they don't stay put very long. I feel like they're always on the move. They're, they're always moving to a new location. It could be the same town that they're constantly moving to different places, but I, I feel like this person is always moving. They're moving around. They can't stay put. They don't stay put for very long. And we have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, so I really feel like this person is going through a lot of healing. I feel like this, but this person is very supportive. They're ready to love and nurture your kind side. I feel like this person is very kind. They're very generous with their heart. Um, they're very giving with their time. I feel like if you ask for something, they don't hesitate. They're out the door and on their way to you. You know, I feel like this person, whenever you need them, they're there. We have the tower. So, yeah, definitely this person has been through a lot of changes. Definitely changes that are certainly changing their life. Changes that may have really took them off of balance and now they're trying to regain their balance. I feel like this person is really trying to find their way in life. But with this transformation, the chariot to the tower, I feel like this person, they're looking for stability after all this change. They're, they're really like thriving stability. And I feel like they're struggling to find that. I feel like they, they feel like there's no solid ground that they can stand on. And the judgment card. Yeah, so I really feel like this person, this person really feels like people are judging them. Also, this person, um, after, now look, we have the death card to the chariot, to the tower, to the judgment. This person has battled so many demons within themselves. I feel like this person is coming out on the other side. This person has battled those demons and now they, they're starting over, completely over. They're trying to find where they fit in in life because they feel like they have the clarity now they feel like things are coming together, but they kind of don't know where to start is what I'm getting. Um, but I feel like they're, they're trying to figure out their life purpose. They're really trying to figure this out, and I feel like they're struggling at it. That's where I feel like you step in, Pisces. I feel like you help them through this battle. You help them see what's important in life. They find that importance with you. Very interesting. Tell me more about this person, Spirit. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person. The damage has already been done. Yeah, you know, this person is damaged. They look at themselves as damaged. They look at themselves as used material that's just been casted away, you know, um, discarded. They they feel like you know they're they're just not worthy. They're going through so many transformations, so many changes, so many battles that is leaving them worried. But they still have love for you, Pisces. They still love you, um, regardless. 
And I feel like if this is new love, they're growing to love you. Um, but for some reason or another, I feel like this is someone coming back. This is someone coming back. Maybe someone who's been gone for a while because maybe they were incarcerated or maybe they were dealing with their own demons. But I feel like this person is coming back. And they're coming back in a, in a very strong way. This cycle has ended. Yet they, they've been through this transformation and their cycle has ended. Now they're going through this rebirth. They're trying to figure out where they belong, who they are, what their purpose is. You know, and I, I feel like they're struggling at that. I feel like they're struggling at finding where they belong. Rumors about you and them. So, yeah, I feel like people are talking. People may be talking about the situation. Why is Pisces back with them? You know, they're no good or they're this or that or they're, you know. Um, but I, I feel like... The rumors are going to die down. People talk just because they have nothing else to talk about. Um, I feel if the, if, if the rumors are coming out, I feel like, you know, so be it. Watching your social media. I, I, I feel like if it's not this person watching your social, social media to see what you're doing, I feel like it's other people. The other people that are spreading rumors. Um, but I feel like definitely your social media is being watched. People are looking at what exactly you're doing with your time. If, if you're posting pictures of you and this person, I feel like they want to know what's going on. What's going on with you and this person. But you're definitely being watched. Pisces. And get more information before making a decision. Yeah, you want to look into what is going on with your situation. Take a look deeper. See, see what's going on. But Pisces, I do feel like this person will fight for you. This person will stand up for you. This person wants to defend you. This person wants to be that rock for you. You know? Um... And it's very beautiful energy, but I, I feel like this person is, this person that you're dealing with is not really very well rated by other people. I feel like people have really cast judgment on this person, maybe for past deeds, but I mean... Isn't it true that everyone can change? Everyone can change their outlook? Um, you know, I'm, I feel like people are casting judgment on this person for, you know, things from the past. And that's really not very fair. But that's my opinion. Okay, tell me more about this connection with Pisces and this person. Tell me more about this connection with Pisces and this person, please. Tell me more about this connection. The Four of Swords. So Pisces, you're not sure. You're not sure if you want to give this person another chance. Or if this is a new person, you're not sure if you want to let them into your life. You're not sure if they can be trusted. Yeah, you have the Hierophant. So, you may want to take more time to find out more information, to do the research, to take your time and learn this person. Just observe. You know, that's what I'm getting with that. You want to take your time and observe, see what changes this person really has been through, to see how this person really is before you make a move. I feel like you're being very cautious, Pisces. You're being, being very cautious for this new romance. But this person is ready to go. They want you. 
Um, we, yeah, we've got the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, so you're, you're definitely being cautious. You're weighing your options. You're, you're thinking about what choice you need to make. Yeah, you're being very cautious, Pisces. You're not sure. You've got the Empress. So I feel like this person, there's a sexual chemistry between you and this person that is very apparent. I feel like this person really, really turns you on. This person... They're very appealing. The, I mean, the the chemistry that you have with this person sexually is just way, way up on the scale. You know, I feel like you find this person so amazing. We have the Seven of Pentacles. To be totally honest, Pisces, I feel like. I feel like the sexual chemistry alone is keeping you in the game. You feel like it's worth it to stick around to see what happens just because of that. I feel like you feel like this person is worth the battle, worth the wait. I feel like you're willing to stick around to see what happens. You're willing to stick around to see, you know, where this leads. Because primarily because of the sexual chemistry that you have with this person, I feel like their their sex with them are is just totally awesome. You know, um, that's what the cards are telling me. Wow. Yeah, you have the Eight of Pentacles, so you're you're willing to work on it. You're willing to work on it to see where this turns, to see what's going on. You're not willing to walk away right away. You're willing to, to wait it out and to work on it. You're willing to see where this is going. You're willing to give them a chance, Pisces. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. Hmm. I feel like because you're willing to give it a chance, people are going to talk, Pisces. There's no way around it. People are going to talk. People are going to judge you. People are going to see whatever they want to see. It's totally up to you whether you want to take it in or whether you want to just leave it behind. But I feel like... People are gossiping. They're saying certain things, you know. But Pisces, to be totally honest, I'm I'm getting the feeling like you just you just don't care. You just don't care what these people are saying. You're gonna live your life. And you're gonna live it on your own terms. Yeah, the two of swords. You you're gonna live your life on your own terms. You're gonna make your choices and stand on your choices. You know, you're not going to let anybody sway you from anything that you want to do. You're, like, not willing to compromise your decisions. Because this is your life. This is how you want to live it. And that's that. And I feel like you're standing strong on that information. You're standing strong on that, on that opinion, you know. You're standing firm. You're not moving off of your rock, you know, very strong energy, Pisces, I, I, but I feel like you, you're very strong anyway, tell me about, give me a little bit more information about Pisces, what kind of love interest do we have, give me some news about Pisces, not enough, Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. So, Pisces. Yeah, like I said, you're still very cautious. You're still very cautious. You're not sure if this person can provide enough. But the chem 
the the sexual chemistry alone is kind of keeping you close by your person has a healing heart they're healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationships or addiction so it could be all of the above with this person they could be healing from several different things but i feel like this person is in a healing mode and i feel like you know you're not sure if you want to be the doctor in this healing session you know what i mean i'm not sure if you want to be the person who provides this person the healing and I feel like that's what they're looking for. They're looking for you to heal their heart. Tell me about this connection. What kind of love situation is this connection, please? Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. So, I mean... This situation can be abundant on different different levels. The change that this person goes through, the transformation, I mean, they're obviously going through a huge lifestyle change. And this may lead to a more abundant life. Now, abundance doesn't always necessarily have to deal with material abundance. It can also deal with good health, good love, you know, it can also deal with other parts of abundance, you know. And we have the hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, integration, repetitive, persistence, working on it. So, yeah, I, I definitely, you know what, Lee, um, Pisces, I feel like with the hammer being here, I feel like you may have been down this road before. And this is a cycle that you're kind of reliving. This is like a constant wheel to you. But I feel like if if you make the choice to work on this relationship, I feel like it's going to bring you a lot of happiness and abundance. If you feel like you you just don't have the energy to move into this relationship, to work on this person. Let's see. What do we have? Um, what if Pisces is not willing to do the work with this person? What if Pisces is not willing to do the work with this person? I feel like this person is going to seduce you into it. Because the sexual chemistry is so high with this person, I feel like this person is going to seduce you into... They're going to seduce their way into your life. They're going to tempt you. You know, that they're going to... That's how they gain your heart. That's how they that's how they are coming in. They're coming in with seduction. This person is coming in with seduction. They're coming in to, you know, use that sexual chemistry to their advantage. And I'm not saying they're doing it in a negative way or if they're, you know, they have um, bad intentions on doing it like that, but I feel like they're definitely using it to their advantage. They're definitely using it to their advantage, you know? <clears throat> but I do feel like this is going to be a new phase for you, um, Pisces. And I feel like this person is going through a transformation. They're changing their mindset. So this situation may all work out. It just may work out for the best, you know? Um, only time will tell. That is if you decide to give this person a chance. So, I mean, we shall see Pisces, but unfortunately I'm going to have to leave that, the reading here. So, Pisces, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads, and take a look at your sun, moon, or rising sign for more clarity on the situation. 
um, if I have it uploaded. And Happy New Year to you, Pisces. Many blessings. Until the next reading, love and light.